Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your September reading. Uh, September, September is going to be a very interesting month. Um, we have some Palo Santo burning here. So that's the smoke that you're seeing in the camera just to chill out the energy today. It's a little bit crazy and all over the place. Um, so we have Venus and Mercury stationing direct in September. And we also have Jupiter joining the outer planets stationing retrograde for the rest of the year. So if you would like to see how that's going to affect you and your rising sign, uh, our Patreon Zodiac tier <clears throat> is up. And um, I'm also putting all of these readings ad free over on Patreon for the public for free. Um, so you don't have to have the ads when watching this. For only $10.99 a month, you can get all of your astrology and um, an extra mid-month tarot reading on Patreon. So come join us. It's really, um, I love the group that we're building and the family that we're building over there, the community that we're building. It's really been a great time. And my calendar is open for September. So um, yeah, all of the shamanic journeys are, o are open and um, I'm offering uh, Reiki and tarot and astrology also. So if you'd like to have a little bit of guidance, I'd love to see your face. <clears throat> Let's see what it is that Gemini is surrendering Whew. for September. Let's see. Okay. Oh, great. I love this one for you guys, for sure. Surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. Let go of limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past. Then you can own your power and soar in life. So surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. I hope that's not glaring for you and you can see that. Um, it's been really, it's been really hard to have a good narrative in your mind with Mercury and Venus retrograde. It's just been really hard to feel like anything good is going to come out of life again. Um, a lot of people are depressed right now. That's why I've got the Palo Santo going because, you know, like there's, there's just this underlying energy of gunk that's going on right now. And um, you want to release yourself of that. You want to release yourself of the gunk from the past. You know, there's no reason for that to be held on to anymore. Uh, I was on Twitter and I always like, uh, it's funny because like when I see that people on Twitter are being all grumpy and obnoxious and like negative about things, like all I want to do is just be so positive and sticky sweet that everybody's annoyed by me. Because really it's like I understand that life is hard. I get it. Like I am not above life being hard. Life has been very hard on me. Um... I, I am just not the kind of person that I want to make how life has been hard on me to project it onto other people and to push it onto other people, right? And I feel like that's something that you're trying to, like you're trying to feel better about yourself these days. You're trying to feel better about the world these days. And that's not an easy task. That is not an easy task. So the nine of wands is the surrender. And that was the first card that came out. And the Four of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. Uh, I feel like you're surrendering to building something new. Like there's this new foundation or a new start to something. And other people are there to help you. But I don't want you to ignore the gifts of people helping you. I don't want you to ignore the, oppor the happy opportunities that can come in at any time, at any moment and any time. And believe that you deserve it and be open to receive it, right? When we surrender, we open ourselves to receive. 
And one of the things that I've learned, so in, um, in our Patreon, we're going to be doing a second tier. Uh, and I haven't really told anybody much about this yet. We're not really advertising it yet because we're still kind of putting it together. But we're doing, we're going to have classes. We're going to have some really great teachers and I'll be offering some classes as well. And I'm offering a manifesting 2.0. <laughs> Because I did a, a manifesting class in 2021 before life made it really hard for me. And now that I'm in a different place and I've gotten through a lot of those difficult moments that life threw at me, I'm like, we got to manifest in different ways. It's a new world and we're manifesting in different ways. And one of those ways that we're manifesting is learning how to receive from others. That's how we learn how to man. When we open ourselves to community and to other people, we thrive more. That is proven. It's proven, right? So when you surrender to being open to receive, you'll be able to see the people who do not want you to thrive and the people who do want you to thrive, right? Um, one of the, the key items that I know I've learned in manifesting is to speak up. Tell people, if I'm in need and I need help, I speak up and I tell people. And that took so much of learning how to trust myself. And that took so much of learning to not believe the things that people told me in the past their opinions about me and who they thought I was made me feel like I was really unworthy. And so when you choose to open yourself up to receive, you'll absolutely come up against uh, pain and frustration. But there's also clarity. There's also um, security, right? There's also a lot of really beautiful things. While wow, there's a whole bunch of cards came out on the nine of wands. Wow. Okay. I did not realize that there were that many cards that came out. To clarify the nine of wands. we So to clarify the surrender card. Let's talk. Let's say that instead. This guy's been through a battle. He's probably been told a lot of things about himself from other people that are not true. Like negative things, right? So we have the sun. Clarifying the Nine of Wands. We have Judgment. Clarifying the Nine of Wands. We have the Empress. Clarifying the Nine of Wands. And the Ace of Pentacles. Clarifying the Nine of Wands. When you surrender to your journey and to yourself, guidance shows up. Clarity shows up. You can see the path much clearer because you're not trying to force it. You're just allowing it to exist the way that it's meant to exist. So no rushing, right? Like I know that you want to rush into things. Um, I feel like there you might come up against some restriction is what I want to call it. You might come up against some restriction um, when it comes to opening to receive, but you got to... You don't have to do anything. I'm not going to say it that way. Allowing yourself. Allowing yourself to not be defensive about the things showing up in your life because sometimes they are just what they are. Taking things for face value for what it is instead of trying to make it more than what it is or less than what it is. Taking things at face value and accepting it really helps you go further in life in a lot, a lot of ways. The four of wands on the three of pentacles, you are moving towards this direction and focus of building something stable for yourself and building something comfortable and safe, right? That four of wands is security at its finest with the people that you love, with the community, right? 
So even the local community, it can be. Um, but that's what your focus should be. It should not be on what other people are saying and doing. And I think that allowing yourself to, you know, speak what you want, even if it's in a needs and desires kind of, excuse me, kind of way, the bottom of the deck we have the Page of Cups, the Lover's card, and the Magician. This is both of you, right? This is you, Gemini. The Lover's card and the Magician, that's all you. And you're like, this is what I really want. I want all of my energy back. <laughs> it's like you want to be whole, you know? And I truly believe that that's what you're going for. So, um, yeah, the surrender. It's all in the surrender. And thats it's not easy, you guys. It's not easy to do the surrender. It really isn't. But I guarantee you, and Spirit is saying it pretty loudly, that the more you allow yourself to surrender and be like, mm, I don't know what else to do. I don't know where else to go. This is all I've got left, right? The more you allow yourself to surrender in that, the more that will come, the more that will show up. Um, I'm not going to say things will get easier because I don't think that they are going to get easier. Uh, the only way they're going to get easier for you is if you choose not to suffer through them, through the experiences. That's how you gain wisdom by not suffering, by becoming aware of the experiences and not suffering. That's how you gain wisdom. And that's exactly what this is, the not suffering, okay? I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful September. And thanks for hanging out with me. Bye.